In this particular example, here I have a rational, a rational expression divided by another rational expression. Well, division by a fraction is the same as, by, as multiplying by the divisor's reciprocal. So I could rewrite this as 10x to the 6 over 6x to the 4th y squared times 9y to the 18th over 50. All right. Now, this becomes just one big fraction. So I have 10x to the 6 times 9 times y to the 18th over 6x to the 4th y squared times 50. This in turn becomes 90 x to the 6 y to the 18th over 300 x to the 4th y squared. Alright, now taking a look at this, let's continue. So going over this side now. <clears throat> So can I rewrite, can I reduce 90 over 300? And I guess that's the question to ask. What is 90 over 300 in a reduced fraction? Well, it's 3 tenths. It is 3 tenths. So we have 3 over 10. All right, so that takes care of those two. Now, look at x to the 6 divided by x to the 4th. Okay. When the bases are the same in dividing, what do you do to their exponents? Hopefully you're going to scream back at me and say, you subtract the bottom from the top. So I go 6 minus 4, and I get x squared. Okay? Do the same thing again, but this time with the y's. The bases are the same. You subtract the exponents the denominator's exponent from the numerator's exponent. 18 minus 2 is 16. So we have y to the 16th. Final answer, 3x squared y to the 16th over 10. We are done.